If you've been following my channel, you know that I switched to the Lumix S5 as my main camera. And one of the things that I wanted to do was build out a cinema rig. And thanks to Small Rig, they sent me all these components to build out a cinema rig for the Lumix S5. Now with any cinema rig, the very first step to building it out is gonna be the cage. And Small Rig actually has a new black Mamba S5 cage that comes with a top handle. This is built just a little bit different than their previous cages, and I actually really like it. It fits really tight, so let's put that on. It actually comes with a magnetic key on the bottom, so you don't have to worry about having you know, your tool with you or anything. It's right there, and you're able to put it in. So the Black Mamba cage comes with a top handle, but the way I'm building out my cinema rig for the S5, I'm not actually gonna use the top handle. I'm gonna use a side handle. So on the Lumix S5, right now I have the Lumix 50 millimeter f1.8. It's part of the S series primes for the full frame L mount cameras. This is gonna actually provide like a very compact light setup. So that's one of the things I really like about the S5 is that the body is compact and then you have some compact primes. They're not cinema lenses, but they are great primes and so it makes a very compact system. So the next part that I'm gonna put on is actually the follow focus. And this is the mini follow focus by Small Rig. And I really like this system. It's not electronic, it's all manual, but it's a great little follow focus system. And I'm actually gonna mount it to the top of the cage because I'm not gonna use any rails on this cinema rig. All right, so we got the follow focus on, so we're good to go on this side. The next part that we're gonna do is actually the mini map box by Small Rig. And so, like I said, this is gonna be a very, very compact system. So a lot of these pieces are gonna be very tight fitting. So I have the thread that fits this Lumix 50 millimeter F1.8, and it's actually a 67 millimeter thread on the front. One of the things I actually really like about this mini map box is that you have the option to use filters that fit the map box, or you can use your regular ND filters that you would normally use on the lens without the map box. So I can just screw this variable ND right to the front of that mount ring. And so there I'm able to use that variable ND if I don't have the map box NDs. So I'll just toss the flag on. It's looking pretty good, right? It's looking pretty sweet. The next thing, like I said, I'm not gonna use a top handle for this rig. I'm actually gonna use a side handle because everything's gonna be really compact on this. I want the mount, the monitor mount, to be actually very low. So on this cinema rig, I decided to use the side handle so that I can have one handle over here and then one handle actually on the follow focus. I should have all this like dead air space in this video too. It's just like half hour long. <laughs> You'd like that, huh? I'll say, oh my gosh. So now that I have the side handle on, I've got a good grip from the side all the way to the follow focus. And that's gonna actually allow for a really stable shot. The last part of the rig is actually gonna be the monitor. Now this is where I actually really don't like parts of the S5 is because on the monitor, you have to use the micro HDMI. And I've heard so many stories and myself as well from the GH4, I remember breaking these micro or mini HDMI cords. So hopefully on updated versions of whatever comes after the S5, hopefully, please Lumix put a full size HDMI port. So to mount the Ninja 5, I'm actually using the small rig Hawk Lock system, the monitor mount with the Hawk Lock, but also the cage around the Ninja 5 and the sun shield. So now this is probably blocking my face, but now we have a full cinema rig setup with the Lumix S5. The only other piece that I would put on to finalize this cinema rig, like I said, I'm not using the 15 millimeter rails or anything like that, but I would use this small rig quick release to put on the tripod plate. So now I have a super compact S5 cinema rig that you can transfer from the tripod to the gimbal, wherever you need to take it. But it's also great for handheld because you have the side handle 
and then the follow focus right here. So that's what I'm using for my Lumix S5 Cinema Rig. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments and we can get a conversation started down there. Thank you, Small Rig, for sending me all the accessories and all the parts to build out this Cinema Rig. I really do appreciate it. If you're watching and want to check out any of these accessories, I have all of the affiliate links down in the description. If you use those links, that totally helps support this channel. Well, if you have time, it'd be awesome if you stuck around. Maybe watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cut.